Today we're gonna to talk about the Invader rack and all the things that you can put on here. Everything that doesn't fit in the van goes on this rack. So on the back rack here, there's a thousand holes and there's a thousand accessories that fit it. It's made for the E-Track system. So this is an example of that, but basically the way it works is there's a little clip here and you take it right up here, slip it in there, slip it down, let go of the clip. That's the vertical location. It works just the same way and the horizontal location there. In addition to that, there are a lot of little holes here with these square tabs on them. These are meant for carriage bolts. An example of that is this one here I already have. It has a square neck to it. So it drops into a square hole and it gets held there as you turn the nut itself. What that means is that for other accessories that you want the bolt from the back side, you simply drop this, the head of that bolt in there. It holds onto the little square neck there and then you can turn this on there and let it go. So you don't have to use hardware and tools to the back side of this using that same system. Back to the E-Track and the E-Track system. There's something called a handy track, which is this magical, magical device here. It makes uh, basically three pieces. It's a front piece, a back piece, and then a screw that holds it all together. And the idea here is that we're gonna add a threaded hole onto these racks without having to modify the rack at all. They also can be moved anywhere on this same system. I've already got one installed here. Basically, you, I've slid the back part behind it put the faceplate on there and screwed it together with just a simple flathead screwdriver. On this one, we have the rear tire bucket on it already. This is what you use to put your third or your fifth wheel on here as your spare. Um, it does come with the spacers on here, which allow you to get the correct offset so the wheel doesn't rub up against this. So you can get it all the way on there. Some of the wheels need a little more spacing than others. It's bolted on using eight bolts, two at the top, two at the bottom, two on the left, two on the right, and they're going through these style holes here. So you're basically just putting it on from the outside. It locks the carriage bolt in place, and then you put the nut on for the back side. It's recommended that you put it on first before the rack goes on to the vehicle. It makes it a little easier that way. Right, so one other accessory that we can put on here is the one-up bike mounts. Now those will let you put one mount here and one mount here to get two on each side. If you didn't have the spare tire, you could put four bikes all the way back here. So typically these are mounted with a T-slot track or like a carriage bolt or something like that. When you do that with that same kind of system, you'll need to put hardware to the back side, which means you have to put tools back here. Uh, it's not quite as easy as some other options. So in this case, we've elected to drill a couple of holes through our uh, one-ups here. And then using that same handy track system from before, we're gonna put a bolt at the top and a bolt at the bottom, and that'll let it go up there with really, really just an easy install. So this is an Illumines traction board holder. I've got all my carriage bolts already go going through here, coming from the back side, so I don't have to put any hardware to the back. So again, this carriage bolt at the outside, washer, and then a nut on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, and then line it up with quite literally any of these holes. I'm gonna choose probably these ones here, and go from there. So I just drop in the first one, right there. Grab the next one, let's put it right there. One more, about right there. And the last one's a little harder to see, but it's right there. So a lot of times people want to put boxes on the backs of these racks. The easiest way to do that is to go ahead and drill a couple of holes in the box, the box itself. In this case, it's about 12 inches wide and about 20 inches from the top to the bottom. So we got four holes total. And I'm going to use the handy tracks that are already up here. I like these positions in particular because they center the box nice and uh, kind of centered on the main part here and far enough over that you can still get to the handle. So there are a number of different ways to put different items on here. In this case, we're gonna go from the front side since we don't have the clearance in the Rotopax part. So we're gonna slide this into the front with a carriage bolt. It's gonna go in right there. We're gonna go for these two and these two locations right here. You'll notice this one's slightly longer than these here. So that'll indicate that. There's another one down lower and there's one on the other side, high and low as well. Go ahead and slide that on there. Put a washer from the back side. Put a nut to the back side. Get that tightened up just started. Do the next one, we're gonna repeat this for all four bolts. All right, so we're gonna put on our roto packs here. This one is yellow for diesel. Uh, there's another one that's white as well. Um, and then you'll have a red one for your gasoline. But in this case, this is a sprinter, so we're gonna go with the diesel. Just slides on there. I'm gonna spin this guy down just a little bit. 
get that one lined up and then we'll tighten them down the rest of the way. And that's not going anywhere. All right, so everything up here is your standard adventure van configuration. You've got your spare tire, you've got a shovel, you've got your box for storing all of your other gear, you've got your diesel fuel up there as well. In addition to those things, you could take all of this off and start over from whatever you want to do. It's infinitely capable for whatever you want to put up here. We've got all of our e-track points, we've got all of our carriage bolt slots, literally the sky's the limit, whatever you want to put on there, you can do it.